Hello everyone and welcome to the next video. First of all, apologies for the lack of videos. It's been more than two weeks since my last video. Uh, it's just been very, very busy at work. And even though I only have a four day week, uh, it's been very hard on me and then after work I just don't want to do anything <laughs> and if I make a video I make it for the main channel the English and the German one and even though I still make video but not a lot so first of all there's nothing happening a second of I couldn't it's just too much at work right now pre-Christmas um, uh, uh, my growth is really small right now because it's only one video on the German channel and one video and one Let's Talk EV live stream on Sunday and that's it. Finnegan wants in. Today I thought I'd talk about the microphones I'm using and why I'm using them. Mic microphones overall they're always in every camera so every camera I have has a, has a half every camera I have has a microphone. This is the microphone on the Sony ZV E10. This is the microphone on the GoPro Hero 8 Black. And this is the microphone on the GoPro Hero 11 Black. And the last thing is the microphone here on the Sony A7S III. <laughs> so why do I need an extra microphone? Why not just the microphones uh, in the cameras? Well, first of all, it's this. If I'm a bit away, it's very quiet, noisy, and you hear background noise and reverberation in the room. And when I film in cars, then the car noise is extremely loud. And you can hear that on the first videos I made on the English channel, where I was filming with my, my, my phone, that the microphone was far away, and therefore the sound wasn't very good. Especially the car was as loud as me. Eco mode. That's That's why I changed uh, microphones. So the first microphone I bought was the Rode Video Mic, not the Video Mic Pro. That's the the, the 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 microphone that came afterwards. It has a few more features, but this I bought used. I don't know, 50 euros or something. Good thing is this is all uh, in a little plastic thing. Oh, it came off here, anyways. So even if it's moving around, you don't have any rattling noise. That it's bumping in plastic into plastic because you can hear it uh, right away it's very sensitive and you just plug this into your camera and this is then pointing to you and this just sounds way better and you have just on off um, and then you can uh, have the signal on uh, minus 10 if it's too loud or plus 20 if it's too quiet and and that's it the downside with this is that it has uh, needs a battery for that and I thought in the beginning Ooh, that's not good at all battery blah 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 but I think I have this for three or four years and never changed the battery but I also haven't used it too much except for at home sometimes filming so I would say uh, uh, I'm sure there's 50 60 hours of filming on here and still working yeah this is now the Rode microphone on the a7s3 and i'm pretty sure it sounds okay here but if i go further away again i have the same problem that uh, it's just so much ambient noise and in a car especially but i use this if i have to uh, get sound not from me so I need it from the ambience so I don't know a car driving by or the sound of a car I don't know the the, the virtual engine sound uh, under 30 kilometers an hour on an EV or something if I need this but if I want me and the focus on me then this is the wrong the wrong microphone but I I still use it well, I used it a lot at home for filming here because the next microphone didn't sound that well but I had a change and it sounds now better so I don't use that anymore at home. So the next step for me was a wireless microphone and it's this. <laughs> so the receiver is on the camera and this is the transmitter and it's the same as this here. This is just the, 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 the version that came afterwards. So this is the Rode Wireless Go. And real, like I said, the good thing is this is here, the receiver is there, I can go very far away, I mean 20-30 meters away and still works, I wouldn't do that, but I could. And it's very close to my, to my face, so the sound is 
it's just recording the focus here but the camera can be somewhere else and that's just awesome so i, I use this for basically 90% of all videos I made. Um, it got a bit old, I used it a lot and to turn it on you have to press this button here for a few seconds very strongly and the, the receiver that's on the Sony A7S III right now um, it's barely working, I have to press really hard so I don't use this anymore, I use this just for home for the live stream um, and I updated to the version 2, this is the Wireless Go 2 and the this, by the way, for, for this you can have a little, uh, we call it a dead cat um, uh, so it's, when it's very windy you would hear with the microphone the sound and you don't hear me talking and with this it's then fine. By the way, I have the same thing for the road as well. I put it on once when it was at the pre-booking event for the ID3 um, and I can't get it on right. <laughs> I'm not good. That's the only thing I did it. But the Wireless Go 2 has new features that are awesome that I need. Number one is that there are now two transmitters to one receiver so I can have someone as well. Oops. Ooh, that was bad. So it can me it can be me and Cindy or someone else, and both have a good microphone, and I, and I, and I can separate that in here, so that left and right channel, or I can mix it together, and usually I mix it together because it's fine. Um, and that's that's really good. Also, those uh, transmitters can record by themselves. So if I want to record the sound of something, and I don't have the receiver with me or or this is not important right now a different camera I can put this on and uh, uh, tell it to record every time it's on and it's going to record and then afterwards I can take it off via USB-C uh, into the computer and use it um, it can be updated it has a lot of, of updates it can do what can, else can it do there was more stuff Oh yeah, it has one. It has one other thing. It has safe channel. So um, when you record audio, your biggest fear is that the audio is clipping. And I had this <laughs> when I made the first video of this camera because uh, the 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 volume that I see on the screen looked good, but it was too hot into the camera. And I just used the same setting that I used before on the on the Sony ZV-E10. That's why it was surprising to me that the Sony A7, uh, uh, A7S A7S3 uh, was clipping. And so you get very distorted sound and you can use this in a video. And uh, the Wireless Go 2, you can set it that it records two channels. One is your normal volume and the second one is just a few uh, steps quieter so if this is clipping you can st you still have the quiet one and can use this it's a great idea I, I used it uh, then for the next video for for this camera but since then I know how to to adjust it and I don't <laughs> do that anymore and by the way how you do that it's all with the same cable it's a normal stereo cable so three contacts and you just put this on the the, the shoe on top and put this in the camera and that's it and my newest update is this. This is a lavalier microphone. I just bought this with the, the Sony camera here. And the good thing is it's, it's nice and sleek. So I can put this on here and we'll put this under the under the, the sweater for example right now and I can plug this into the wireless go so I still have a wireless connection and I can do this with this thing right now as well so now you hear this microphone here the downside that I see is that this microphone records forward and uh, the road records upwards so I have a bit more ambient noise also it is a bit uh, less high frequency but I noticed at home when I film at home this sounds better than the, than the road so I, that's why what I said I don't use this anymore and it's fine and it's not so present like this one here and but the main reason why I bought this was in the car so 
So, uh, you know, when I do my range tests, I, I film every 25% uh, state of charge. So at 50% and at 25%. So every time I film, I turn everything on, the receiver, the transmitter, camera, film everything and then turn everything off. And when my transmitter was here, I had to do like this. And the only way to see that it's on is the blue light here. Focus on it. There we go. And uh, that's hard to see. And while driving and then you press it, it it's just uh, uh, not that easy. And you do it at every test, I don't know, five, six times. And on and off, but on is easier because I just turn it on and then on the receiver I can see that it's on, but off uh, I have to turn it off and then look at the receiver if it's off or if I t turn the receiver off first, then I don't know. And that's why when I have it like this, then it is down here and I just can look down here, it's not, not a problem. Uh, it, it's not the main reason, it's just the main reason is that it looks better, but it's the second best reason here. And then the last microphone I have is this. This is the Rode uh, Video Micro. And, and you ask, why do I have everything from Rode? Um, it's just what I see on the videos of other YouTubers and uh, um, vloggers and, and stuff, what they used. And I just bought one. It sounded okay. Like the, the, video, the, the wireless Go sounded okay. And the, <coughs> that's why I got the video, uh, uh, the wireless Go 2. So for me, there was no reason. And, and at the time when I bought those, it was, there wasn't a lot of wireless microphones around for that price. Now there's DJI and whatever. I'm sure DJI's wireless microphone is, is good as well. And I, this one I only use for live streaming. So I plug this with the same cable as this, just a longer one, into my phone for live streaming. Because live streaming, again, the, the phone is here and then the sound would be horrible. And you can see that in, hear that in the live stream. Sometimes I have to plug it out, uh, especially when I'm, when I'm standing because I, I want to show something with the phone. And then I have to plug back in the microphone. And the microphone is just closer to me. It sounds better, less car, more me. Uh, and it's just better quality than what the microphone of the of the phone has, and the phone is just further away. And the good thing with this microphone is it doesn't need a battery. So this is a, a dynamic microphone, and this was a cardioid cardioid microphone condenser. Yeah, cardioid is something different. Condenser. Yeah, I'm the one who who had uh, education in audio at one point. Yeah condenser microphone so it needs a battery but this doesn't need a battery and so I can just put it on and put it on with a suction cup and it's as close to uh, close to my to my face I can point it towards me and then that's it and I have a, a dead cat for that as well and now wind can go in and it's no problem and by the way for for this microphone I have something for the wind as well for strong winds. This is for light winds and if there's very strong winds I can use this and this comes in this little thing so I don't break it. But those are my microphones that I use for live streaming at home and uh, uh, for my videos and so far uh, they work pretty well. I have no problems with them. That's it for me. Bye!